okay. All right, all right. So um, the recording has started. All right, thank you guys. Now, can you just drop your name and what you do, just your name and your occupation so that we can get on with this fast? Like I said, it's just one hour and we're not spending beyond one hour. So, yes, Insika Kumo, I have Insika Kumo. Insika Kumo, what do you do? So, you drop your name and what you do. Okay, I need more people to tell me what they do. Time is um, has started counting already, and I want us to do this as quickly as possible. All right, we have Insika Kumo is an IT consultant and application support engineer. Man, only you. This plenty title. Well done, um, Insika. Uh, it's great to have you on board with us. If you are here, you can turn on your um, um, video and just wave to us. It's nice to have you around so who else who else is going only sikak is going um okay i do okay raise this hand can i quickly have what i do is that a mistake or you did that on purpose you want to say something oh okay we have wisdom udo a front end engineer and technical writer he lives in Portacos. Well, wow, that's nice. Thanks for joining us all the way from Portacos. I am faith. Maybe I do not say where I'm staying. I'm faith. I'm staying in Lagos. See, you can, people can see me, right? Thank you. I like that introduction. He's telling us where he's joining us from. All right. We have Wisdom Udo, a front end engineer and technical writer who lives in Portacos, um, Nigeria. So let's have more people introduce themselves. You can just drop it on the chat in the room. Please, let's do this as quickly as possible. All right, um, as more people um, drop their introduction, I would like us to start off immediately. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I have um, um, David Napoleon, a graphic designer and a music producer. Wow, David, it's nice to have you on board. Thank you for joining us. More people, please just drop your introduction. We'll be starting this now. We'll be starting this now. So anybody that joins us, um, Thank you for joining us. Once you come in, just mute your mics. We'll be um, uh, we'll be introducing our, our speaker for today. Uh, I'm sure some of you saw the mail I sent. See, uh, you already okay. We have more Potakot people. Wow. Um, we have David Napoleon. Okay, David is from Potakot. David and Wisdom. They are from Potakot. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so please drop introduction. I have Kanu Irogbe. I've spoken to that person before. All right, so please drop introduction in the chat room. My name is Faith Onifade. I am the host for today's webinar. This webinar, like I said, you have the opportunity to ask questions. We'll be teaching you how to make good use of um, your referral code. Thank you guys for joining us. I really appreciate this. Um, and I'll be introducing our speaker now so that we get to it as quickly as possible. So our speaker is no other person than the Chief Growth Officer of Ugo Host. His name is Damilola and Rusiola. Oh yeah, put your hands together for him. Ooh, people want to put your hands together. <laughs> All right, so Dami, you have the floor. Thank you. And please take your notepad and write something. Write something because you're going to be learning a lot. Thank you, Dami. Over to you. Yeah, thank you, Craig. Um, good afternoon, everybody. I'm so, so excited to meet each and every one of you today. So what I'll be telling you today, or what I'll be, what uh, what gist I'll be giving to you, I am super, super sure that you will get, you'll get, how do I put it, you get, um, uh, what's that? I'm looking for that qualifier that kind of, you know, solidify what I'm trying to tell you, but they are going to be very implementable. They are going to be ex executionable. <laughs> Pardon my English, but they are going to be very, very implementable. There are things that you can relate with. So please guys, listen carefully. I promise you that you are not going to waste your time today. Like I, I already have some information for you that i think that will be genuinely important to how you push your products going forward or how you help who goes to um you know push the products while you also make money uh at it so let's dive deep quickly deep um i'm going to be talking about three main tactics that i've actually chosen that i think so i'm not going to be sharing any screen these are things that i 
thought about that I've penned down on my on my notepad and you know I'm going to be um maybe I should even share my notepad. Yeah, let me let me share my notepad with you guys so you can see. Okay, so uh make sure that if you have any questions, yeah, please um don't um don't um forget to um you know put it in put it inside the uh, chat room and um, maybe um, uh, Faith can read them out to me later. Okay, so like I said, there are things that I just scribbled down that I will just go over with you guys. Uh, right. So I want you guys to see that it's kind of raw. So that's why I'm sharing my screen. Okay, I hope everybody can see my screen right now. Now, there are three things that I want you guys to you know focus on this time around that I think that important the first thing is that you know you can create communities by using education to help excel going forward and what do i mean by creating communities right i have seen um so okay maybe we should start from the overall the overall the reason why we are here is to learn how to push our referral code and i've been thinking about it okay how do you push your referral code so that you know you can leverage it it, it, it just becomes like a like a um what, what, what how do i put it it becomes like a a a um a side income thing for you where money just keeps coming in and you really don't have to do much right so that's the way i'm seeing this and that's the way i'm going to explain it to you but before that let's talk about let's talk about how people make money generally right so this is how i i have you know over my over my experience and time because outside of Ugos, I do several other things as well. Like I have a course, I have a marketing agency. I'm presently in um, doing things in, you know, starting new businesses. So I am also very entrepreneurial uh, outside of even, you know, working for somebody, right? So, but from what I've seen over, over the years, right? I've seen that there are majorly two ways that you can make money, right? Majorly two ways, right? the first thing is that is either you use your time right so if you don't have time, you will use money to make money if you don't have money you will use time so if you don't have any of these then you are never going to make money let me be honest with you right so the time in itself is that so where do you now find the balance right when you start when so that's why people sell services first because you how do I even make money with money? I have to give value, right? So you use value to make money, right? Everything is leveraged on value, okay? So when that value is there, outside of that value, right, you now begin to use value in exchange for money. And when you now have that money, you now use it to buy much value, and then you now use it to buy much of people's time, right? And then you now use it to produce value to get what you're looking for. So in a nutshell, right? is either you use money or you use your time to get value in any way that you are and value in this regard is money coming back into your pocket right so the thing is that guys if you don't have money please have time especially a little bit of time to invest in whatever you want to push right and if you have money good news right you can also use money to buy the time, right? Which will not eventually make you the money. Okay. Now, I'm going to, what I'm going to now tell you about these three tactics that I've chosen, right? There are a lot more tactics that you can use, but I just put it out based on using money and time, right? So I'm going to give you a blend of both words, right? You can where you can use your time and where you can use your money. And which now takes me back to the first thing I said. The first one is create a community by using educational content to help people excel right and this time this this tactics involves using your time you don't have to use any money here and i'm going to give explicit explicit uh, <laughs> don't mind my english <laughs> explicit example right of how you can you can create a community so what does a community mean a community means that you have an ability to gather people 
right, in a specific location. So it doesn't even have to be, it can be webinars like this, it can be emails, it can be Facebook groups, it can be anything, right? So it is the, it is the, um, how do I put it, is the, is the way you gather people and you you are able to communicate one same information to them at this okay right? so let's let's take a step back right you know i was in a i was in a um i was in a, an event last la i think last week yeah i think it was last week thursday yeah i was in an event and you know there's this lovely girl called Shema, and probably you guys have, might have met her of accounting hub and then you know i was in a i was on a panel with her and when we were having a conversation as we get how entrepreneurs or how people should see their advertising or how people should see to perceive selling right as in from a perspective of a marketer you guys are marketers here okay even, even if you are trying to market you know help Google's market the products just to make money you guys are marketers. You are just leveraging on another person's product rather than your own products because you know it might take you a lot more money to build your own product and a lot more, you know, time and stuff like that. So you are just leveraging on a product that already sells, right? And then you want to sell that product, right? So you're a marketer, right? Now, what she was saying was that she wanted to change the perspective of everybody in that room. And what she said stuck with me because I've never seen it in that light, although that is the way I function, right? But not clearly. She, I've never heard it loud in my head like that. And then she said that, you know, as a marketer, you need to see things in traffic form. You need to see things in traffic. Like, now, where, how do you see things in traffic? Like, where you need to see things like, I cannot sell to 100 people and get the 100 people to buy. Do you understand? I can sell to 100 people and get two people to buy in the long run. So when you, when you start seeing things that way, then you know that your goal as a marketer is not to try to sell to 10 people because you know that maybe 10 people will not buy so you want to reverse engineer things so you now say that if i if i want to sell to if i want to sell my products i want to sell this product i want to sell five products every single month right i want to sell five products every single month right you now need to do a reverse engineer of the concept that's okay if i have to sell five if i have to sell people or you have to sell five products of this in every month how people do i need to reach to sell these five things right so which now means that let's say your conversion rate is about say 10 percent right so if you have to sell to five people and you know that your conversion rate is five percent right then that means that you have to sell to you have to reach out to uh so that's is five times ten that means you have to reach out to 50 people that is if your conversion rate is at 10%. And 10% is so fun, it's fantastically good. <laughs> so, in a nutshell, if you're selling to warm audience, if you're selling to cold audience, and it's cold audience here are people that have never heard about you before, your percentage rate, your conversion rate should be around one to two percent. That's a very good conversion. So that means that if you want to sell five. And your conversion rate is about one to two percent to cold audiences, right? You have to, you have to sell to say, um, I don't know, I'm not good with max, so I'm trying to picture it in my head. Say two percent, two percent, two percent. Say five hundred people care about. I'm just trying. I'm trying my math. So, but let. But that means you have to reach five hundred solid people. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you understand? I, I hope this brings an aha moment for you guys, right? So now the goal is that where do I find these people? And now when you are now using communities in this regard, right? So there's something called there's something called cold audiences and warm audiences. Guys, please, if you are not writing, please write. Because when you are going over these things over time, right? You can you can just 
push it into Google and learn more about it. I don't expect you to learn all of these things at the same time, right? I know it's a lot of information, but please, whatever strikes a bell inside of you, please just note it down, right? So there's what is called cold audience and warm audience, right? Cold audiences I just spoke to you about are people that have never heard about you before. They don't know your, about your brand before. They don't know what, uh, they don't, they are not even aware of the pro, they are not even aware of the products that you sell. They might just have a problem that they want to fix. Let's say the problem in this regard is to build a website, right? They might just be aware of the product, right? But they might be aware of the problem rather right, that they have, but they might not be aware of a product that can solve that that um problem they have so in that regard they are cold audiences right and like i said their conversion rate is around one to two percent especially if you are trying to sell them immediately to buy from you now warm audiences are a little better but you have to warm them up and that is where community building is important right you have to constant and warming up is means that you have to engage them. You have to make them know that, oh, they can trust you. You have to give them information based on things that they are trying to, that they are trying to achieve in their life. And that's where community building comes into. And that's where education comes into. Some people use blogging for this, right? To educate people, I will tell you, please don't, don't use blogging for now because that time has passed, right? For SEO purpose. It doesn't really work, except you have a way to push people from a place to the blog that you're trying to write, right? But how do you like put people together in one place, right? You can use video content. You can use your WhatsApp is the, is a very, very good place for you to use WhatsApp, uh, to, to, to gather people. For example, let's say you just have phone numbers of people that that actually um that actually have oh let, let come to think of it hold on guys there's something that um chioma told me about so it might be very interesting to you guys as well just let me pick it out um i think is a tool she talked about that allows you to send a uh, mass email a mass whatsapp messages yes it's called wa nation wa nation yeah um and they can they sent huge messages i've not tried it but the product i think is fantastic so i'm going to put it in the room that you guys can have access please if you have any questions please let me know let me know i still have a lot of information for you guys so please don't go anywhere you are going to be flabbergasted with the information i'm going to give you today you are not going to get it anywhere i can tell you that 100 percent. okay so i think so you can use one nation it's called one mission and you, you, what you just do is you send you send like bulk messages to people and then but you you don't just send bulk SMS. so that's why i'm saying community building right community building is important because you want to warm them up you want to give them information based on what you think they can get from you and then what what they can learn from you first so there's something there's there's a concept called let me let me scroll up there's a concept called jab, 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 hook. I don't know if you guys have heard about it before. It's a concept from um, from uh, um, Gary Vaynerchuk, right? Gary Vaynerchuk calls it jab, jab, hook. And jab, jab, hook is a concept where, you know, you, you, you give information, give information, give information, give information, and then the hook part is you sell. Give information, give information, give information, sell. Give information, give information, give information, sell, right? So it doesn't mean that you don't have to sell, right? But when you jab and jab and jab, like I give information, it depends on how long you want to jab, right? You can jab, 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 jab 10 times before you ask for a sale, right? Depending on how good you want to pull value into it. Uh, but like I said, in, in, in a nutshell, you, you can you can jab, several times for four to five to six times then you do a sale right you can jab some people will say four times some people say it depends on what works for you right but make sure you give info if you give value a lot of value up front right a lot and lot of value but the concept in this regard is that you are putting people in a in a you're putting people in a cocoon you're putting people in like a a a 
a, a closed circuit where you then sell to them. So for example, in this regard, right, it can be your WhatsApp message. It can be your WhatsApp where you just have not WhatsApp group. You just have their numbers on your phone, but you know in your mind that they are on your community, right? So when you want to gather them, you look, you use one nation, one nation, for example, to gather them while you send them information. And if you want, you can just gather them in a broadcast group and send them information at, at each point in time, right? And you can use WhatsApp stories as well to, you know, to communicate this awesome, awesome thing that you want to sell to them. And guys, you don't really have to be the one creating the content. That's another thing I think I, I should point out to you. You can collect content online. There are lots of information on content. Upspot gives, just make sure you credit these people, right? Credit Upspot, whatever you are using, credit them and make sure that you can, you can take information from them and give to people, but credit as much as you can. Sometimes, sometimes what I do on my, um, on my, on my, um, what's it called? What I do on my, um, on my, on my Instagram sometimes is that I just look for good content and I share it on my Instagram and then I see, I just share it and I make sure that I, um, I reference the person that actually owns the content, you know, and people like it. People just because I give them value at each point where I want to sell, right? I can just go ahead to sell. Okay. So sometimes I, I, I was, I was telling, I was telling my wife the other day that, oh man, I feel like doing a course and I feel like doing a YouTube, a Google course. And when I want to do it, all I will just do is that I need just 10 people, 10 people to take my course and I'm going to be selling it at a hundred thousand naira. It's going to be physical, right? It's going to be inter, inter, it's going to be virtual, but I just need people I can actually touch base with, right? And actually teach this thing for myself. But, to be honest, I've not really got time for it, but I know how I can go around. But note, I have been giving value. Like I have been giving value. I've, I can't remember the last time I asked people to take something from me, uh, to buy something from me, but I have a lot of students asking me, when are you going to do this thing? When do you want to do I, I don't have time. But the point is I've given so much value and I won't stop giving value. And I learned this from somebody like Neil Patel. Neil Patel just keeps giving you value. You'll be like, what is it, guy? She did not tell me to buy something from you. And if you are, if you now find an opportunity to buy from this guy, then you now you'll be glad to pay. Do you understand? So that's what I would talk about building a community, right? So, but in your mind, when you're building that community, you know how you want to gather that community. Your community can be gathered on Facebook, Facebook groups right? Your community can be gathered using Instagram, right? Instagram can be your community where your followers are your community and you know your followers, right? The goal is just keep giving content. The community can be on YouTube. The community can be on WhatsApp, right? Your community can be anywhere. The goal is that your community can be emails, right? The goal is that you're constantly giving these people value and remember the concept of jab 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 hook jab 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 hook remember that concept it works a lot then how do you then find people what people are interested in right maybe you don't even have a clue right and you want to understand what they are interested in where you are building your community you can use things like answer the public let me drop that in the section as well i know it's on my notes so i'll just drop that you can use tools like answer the public to uh, to get you to know what people are asking for and then you can build your content around it i created a content one day like that because i do i do short form videos um on my instagram and i created one like that and the video within one click of publishing like this like I got over, I think I got over 5,000 views where Instagram just opened it up to people because it was an awesome content. I didn't even, ex I didn't even expect it to go viral, right? But what I expected was that, what the reason I did, that, the reason that that happened was I just used Answer the Public and I got out all the things that I think people are interested in and I started creating content around it. 
like I said, jab, 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 hook. Then there's something that I can quickly show you here. I'm sharing my screen. Okay, I'll just share this instead. Share this screen instead. So let me show you something. Let's say uh, website building. Right. So, so look at this. These are other questions people are asking. And these are things you can answer for them. And guess what? If you click, bam, more we more we come on diet. Click, bam, more we come on diet. Click, bam. So why, why why are you not creating content? And these are contents that you can create. These are questions you can answer. And if you don't know the answer, go and Google it. There's something. It's even here now. Answer is here. Just put it on. If you are on WhatsApp, if you are on WhatsApp, this thing, just put it there. Just put it on your WhatsApp status. Pam, you are done. Jab, 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 hook. So there are ways that, and use answer the public. You can get all of these things easily. Like I said, please pay attention. What I'm telling you, I don't think anybody has told you this before, I, and I can guarantee you that. Okay. So another thing is that. Let me, so let me let me go back to my uh, my. Um, my slide oh, my i said my slide <laughs> i'm used to slide pardon me my notes and the next thing i want to talk about is you know another thing that you can do number two you know we are talking about three things today number two is that you can actually co we can actually do co, co marketing with somebody who is already a web designer so if you have if you're not a web designer uh, if you're a web designer, probably the first part that I talked about will be very, very good. Even if you're a web designer, the second part is good for you as well in the sense that look for people that you can um, co-marriage with, right? And help people. I've seen a lot of people where, you know, they 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 don't own any of this intellectual property. They just partner with somebody that knows how to do it and they organize classes there are a lot of university students out of school for right now like there are a lot of them in uh, in the house they are not doing anything right co market with somebody like find a partner and get these students teach them how to use wordpress teach them how to use wordpress these people want to get into tech they want to learn how to become a third a tech person find people get them out how to use how to use tech how to use wordpress if it's server management that you can teach teach them that involves how to use how to get into tech right if it's um if whatever you think you know how to or whatever you think you have you have somebody who can and you know bring them together charge them 10k charge them 20k and you know start bringing them together it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be um what's it called it doesn't have to be physical if you have an opportunity to do physical fine it doesn't it has to if it if it can be manual yeah it's i, I think it can be virtual you can do that but the goal here is that you need to build a first touch point with these people go all out to them talk to them you might you all you have to do all you need is 10, 10 students you don't really need much and all these guys will start referring you to their friends right the goal is that you have to have time remember what i said in the beginning is either you have time or you have money <laughs> so this 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 is like if you have time right uh and if you have money too a bit of ads can be run and then you can get what you need right now the last part the coolest part of all is here you need to have money right and not a lot of money as well just a bit of money uh but this is like a a a a, a other it's like a machine that you just turn on eh? you just turn it on and then you go and sleep and then money just keeps coming in right um but in this regard what what i what i what i think you can do here is that there are two there are other ways there are there are several other ways that you can actually um get value from this i i would i would have suggested google google is a lot more but google 
is far expensive because you are going to be you're going to be battling with people like us that have enough money <laughs> to to get customers right you are also going to be battling with people like main cheap you're going to be battling with people like um like go but but i used to know i used to know an affiliate marketer or referral that actually uh, i've forgotten his name he's also it was a it was an ugo's customer and the guy focused on google ads and he was just you know he was just running google ads because to be honest guys google ads is one thing that you can use aside as and he was just focused on that and you know money just kept coming in for him every month do you understand now this is the smaller part of what i think you can do right like i said direct to the point something that you can execute immediately so i think you can try instagram and facebook ads all right and these ads are used to target people who owns a facebook page okay so if you want to kind of uh, so there, there's there's a there's a part in the face inside of facebook where you are using facebook manager right if you are using facebook manager you can actually target admin owners of a page people who are admin so if you have created a facebook page before and you had an admin on that page right i can target you and the concept here is that the people who are admin on a page they are mostly mostly um business owners they might be small excuse me they might be small they might be big they might be medium sized but most times they are business owners because they set it up themselves right? so you can actually target these people and run hearts to them now what type of hearts are you going to be running to them okay i've over a period of time remember when i told you from the beginning that when you're selling ads to when you're, when you're when you're selling to people that are um that are say um um cold audiences when you're selling to cold audiences these are people that have never heard about you before conversion rate most of the time is about one to two percent conversion rate right but if you are selling to warm audiences you get your conversion rate can can be as much as 10 percent can skyrocket depending on how well you have warmed up these people right and warming up in this regard is how well you jab before you hook right so in this regard you can also apply the same jab jab hook inside of your facebook ads so the first thing you need to do is to first show them this same set of people you show them a good resource that informs them on what they can get as a other as a um what they can get from 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 say in this regard they are selling hosting for example what they can get to start their business for example how what they need to start what you think they are needing so answer the public can give you information into what people are searching for like i said um what i just showed you on google can also give you insights into what business owners are searching for online and create a content around that and then show that content to them and anybody that interacts with that content, right? Do you understand? So there are people that on Facebook, if you can actually target video views and say anybody that watches 75% of this video, retargets them with this content, right? So in this regard, you want to make sure that probably you created a, a, a blog post or a post that says that, oh, um, um, it's not dot com is is it dot com oh sorry oh sorry i think there was a mistake let me see hold on thank you thank you for that oh sorry it's not dot com uh -huh. thank you for that um let me get it out oh sorry so it's wamation.com.ng sorry i didn't follow the right link she gave me um so i'll drop it again thank you th thank you Marvia, uh for that so this this should work is whymation.com.ng all right okay so in this regard right what you can do is that you can target people 
that own a Facebook page, that are admins on that Facebook page, you target them upfront with a good resource, right? It can be that they should download an audio, a book. It can be that they should download something of good value to them, right? And you have to do good research into this good value, right? Do research into that value that you're offering people. If you don't do it, it's not going to work. So you do, and that's where your, your research time comes in. You create very good resource upfront and anybody that interacts with that resource, then you can, you then retarget them with your uh, referral link. It is that simple. And I can tell you that you can get better conversions. You can get, like I said, it's, it's this, this one warrants that you put money into your ads, right? Okay. But you, you can get, it, these are things that when, when it's properly set up, you know, you just turn it on and you smile and you know that at least money is coming in from somewhere regularly. So I will just stop here. I know I've said a lot of things. I don't know if you guys have any question, uh, but yeah, I've said a lot of things and um, I will take, I will let Faith take, take it up from here. And if you guys have any question, I'll be super happy to to respond to that. Thank you so much, Ami. I am grateful. I personally learned a lot. I learned a lot. I, I, I did not know that I was coming to learn. <laughs> I swear, I did not know that I was coming to learn. <laughs> why not? I just wanted to organize webinar for people to make money. Why I too can actually make money aside by salary. Thank you very much, Ami. That was really insightful. And I am very sure many people liked it. Someone already, um, someone from um in the chat room said this is very um how, how is this again this is very educating it's happy to be part of the webinar yes this is one of the good things to be bringing to you just because you have decided to join the referral train so like Dami said you talked about community the referral community is something we built to um from our own end and that's why we're all here and ah people that did not join today. I don't know, Sha, I don't know what we'll do for them. But so let's have the questions coming in. And um, first, what, the only question I got here, um, okay. The only question I got here said, um, can they share, can you share your um, Instagram link with them? That's what somebody said. Dami, can you share it with them? <laughs> this is, this is, I, I don't know if I should do that. <laughs> this is yeah, it's okay. it's I, don't, I don't like meddling business with personal also. Uh, but you guys can just research me online. My name is Damilola Russell. I'm, I'm sure you should. So, whenever it comes up, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wisdom said this is very interesting. It's not just that it should be interesting, no. At least when teacher finish teaching, you ask questions. Are people what to do like Nigerian children? Do you understand? People will say yes. Do you understand? <laughs> so with what Dami has said now, can you people make money? <laughs> All right, this is really very interesting. So, Kenneth, you want to say something? Please, Kenneth. Eh? She's not saying anything, no. We cannot hear you, so mute yourself. All right, uh, no questions. We should start bringing in the questions, so. Yeah, I think probably because it was um very straightforward. As like I said, I like to make things as simple as possible that are very executional so you don't really i don't i wouldn't use big words for you and then you know you start figuring out what did dami say here what do you mean here i think it's just it was it was straight i know that was my question straight stay straight to the point and you know just make sure that everybody learned something um before they leave yes for me myself i can testify i actually learned something really thank you guys for joining in so like dami said it was straightforward that me i don't have a question because i understood some of the things in short majority of the things he said i understood them and um and i was learning it for the first time that's the it, it was it was like it was preaching to me that was the it was an eye opener for me this webinar was an eye opener for me and i'm sure that was how it was for you too and when i call for another webinar I hope you'll be ready and uh, um, excited to be a part of this because i intend to do this as often as we can right if okay 
which system are you talking about? Are they okay? Are they all okay? Which system are you talking about? Um, please clarify so that we'll be able to answer that for you. Something yes, like can. jab jab. Oh, it's jab jab hook. It's not a system. Okay. Oh, that's a system. Jab jab hook. Okay. At least me, I've learned jab, something today. Jab, so jab, it's, jab. It's like it's like boxing. It's like boxing, right? So you know when you are fighting, you understand. So if you look at the person fighting, is ba ba ba. So it's that's the jab 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 and then hook. Hook is the you know the final one where you just give that person bow. The person just goes to the ground. So that's that's what that's a concept and that's what jab jab hook means. We even left the box inside the studio. <laughs> <They> just... <laughs> it's interesting, you know. People that they don't come, I don't even know how to tell them this story. But this is interesting. Thank you guys for thank you, Dami, so much. We learned more than enough. For me, I thought I would just come and <laughs> oh yeah, what are they saying? But this time I was hooked. In short, that, that me did jab jab and hook me said. <laughs> Well, it was nice. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Dami. I'm sure you guys learned a lot. Okay, so please, Dami has to come back again. No, all right, Dami. They say you have to come back again for this webinar. So when I send you emails, don't say this girl has started again. You see, we're giving value, not just telling you come and buy from Google Host, but what telling you how you can even do that. Some some of the things that we said today, you can apply it to yourself and not just only for Google Host products, right, Dami? Okay, so thank you guys. Oh, some people came late, my God. How do we explain this to them that they are, the bottom of the pot is what they have come to eat? But it's fine. We explain to them the best way we can. So I'll be sending up a, a follow-up email after this webinar. It was short but very impactful. So we're supposed to have um, people who will do testing testimonials as far as their um, um, referral code has been going. But for some reasons, all the people have vanished. They did not come. They are ch probably chasing money, but they don't know that they will come and see money here. But some of the things people, some people told, told me about was that um, I asked them, how do you get people to use your referral code? Some of them say through their WhatsApp status. Um, okay, someone asked a question. Can one use landing pages as one of the marketing strategy? Dami, that question is for you. Yes, yes. Uh, that's where the part of um, where I talked about the number three tip that I talked about, which is, you know, giving value up front. So it can be in different ways. Don't even see all these landing pages, all these things there. Uh, they are they are nice to have right they are just the nice to have part the goal is the content system. the reason you need a landing page is where you don't you want to collect information but you don't have that information so things as simple as what's their name called um um i'm i'm not promoting them they are they are partners though but I'm not really promoting them. Um, what was their name? Uh, uh, these guys now. Um, can you remember them? Um, Which one? These guys that want, wanted to seller. Yeah. Seller. Okay. Seller. Yeah. So you can use seller, and seller is a simple way that allows you to just offer information, and you can get paid on it, or you can just give free ebook or something so yeah landing pages in this regard can work the goal is that you want to collect information but you have to have in your mind right that after that information what happens next right so you have to be able to reach them again right so what what you what very good um david i think you're talking about seller already so you you have to like then look at it what happens next so you're not just thinking about the landing page the landing page is not the strategy here the strategy is traffic from traffic to conversion what is that journey going to look like do you understand and if you are now using ads right you have to be able to retarget people to take that action that you want them to take but when you are sending traffic for the first time when you are reaching out to people for the first time don't sell don't sell okay there's something i would like to say again right that i used to tell people and i used to talk about it like how do i put it like um uh i used to sell, talk i used to use to explain sales funnel right and that is the concept of all this thing i see entrepreneurs just saying come and buy come and buy come and buy come and buy 
If you are the one, would you buy? Let me explain to you. So let's say that you are in a restaurant for the first time, right? And then you meet this fine girl. You meet this fine girl, like um, very fine girl. And the girl is sitting down there. And then you go to go and meet the girl, right? And then you go on your knees and say, hey, girl, please marry me. If you are the one, you marry the girl. <laughs> are you married the guy? You look like, who is this stupid boy? Why are you telling me? Like, we are in the open open place. You are telling me to marry. Why are you telling me to marry? Do you understand? I don't know you before. Why would you marry me? Why should I marry you? But if you go, even if whiskey does that, there are some guys, that, there are some girls that will marry him, right? But the point is that whiskey has already built a brand. Whiskey has already warmed them. Exactly. Whiskey has already given them content they like before they will say that wherever they see whiskey, they will marry whiskey. And that is what you also you need to do. So when you go and, so in a sense, when they now say, Okay, you meet the girl. If you go like this, you meet the girl. You say, ah, fine girl. How are you doing? You psych her very well. Now say, please, give me your number. Oh, you have psyched to Give me your number. You are looking beautiful, fine. Oh, I like you. What are you doing? You talk, you talk right? And then you collect phone number. After you have collected phone number, you call. You guys go out for lunch. You go and eat lunch. After you eat lunch, you watch, you watch film. You know, you do several things, right? And then maybe several years or several months later, you then go on your knees and then you ask the girl, you have a better chance of the girl saying, yes, I do. Right? That is how yes. customers, it is that simple. Right? So when I see a lot of customers, when I see a lot of entrepreneurs where they're saying, come and buy, come and buy, come and buy, I am telling you, I will not buy it. Until I know that, that thing that you are trying to do is of value until i can trust you enough that i even know what you are talking about before i can open my wallet and say okay i'll buy your products right so that is the way i want you to see things and that is why you know landing page is just part of the journey and just a tool that kind of gets you to the point but i don't want you to see landing page as the journey itself it's not the journey you need to understand the concept and every other thing will fit into it Thank you so much, Dami, for um, giving an answer to that question. Again, I still learned something from it, though, and I hope you did. Okay, someone asked a question, or should I say suggestion? He said, please, can you list out the tips from number one as written on your list for refresher, or maybe, uh, and maybe the new people that join can gain from it? Dami, is that possible? Something you can just drop here and probably... No, 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 we're, we're, we're out of time. So what I'll do is okay. that... Um, I, the email that it will be sending out, I'll just okay. send everything to you. We can rework it and then you can send it to them so that they have it. And then I, I know you're sending the, the video out as well. The video right? as well, so, yes. So that people will get a lot of um, answers to your questions. So this is something that you can rewatch um, at your leisure too. All right. Thank you, Dami. Thank you so much. Any more questions? Question, question time. We still have like two, three minutes to answer questions before we call it a day. Today has really been impactful. And then some persons, you um, um, you just sign up and you're not using your, your referral code. You should not make money like that, though. The more you talk about it. So what we plan doing now, well, okay. I believe you do a report on this webinar so we can have a full idea of what happened on this meeting. Okay, I'm sure it's part of people that came late. Peace, Kenneth. Maybe that's what you were trying to tell me that time. All right, so I will do. How much will you pay me for this report now? <laughs> All right, no problem. I'll do that and I'll send to everybody. It was nice having everyone here. And um, like I said, we'll be sending out um, every week when I send the email to you like I do, I'll be sending out um, promotional items that you can as well share um, in, um, with your audience. So I'll be sending out, um, should I call graphic designs that um, tells people about um, Ugo Host and you can just attach your, your referral code to those graphic designs. So you can put this on your WhatsApp status and tell people, yes, you can get domain names from Google Host. You can build websites in Google Host. You can get hosting accounts in Google Host. And you can do that using my referral code. Yes, you get a 500 naira discount on their hosting service. And um, 
and you don't need to know that you make money from a chatbot. Just tell them about the discounts. That's the attraction for them. Tell them they stand a chance to having this discount. And you see, as more people use, what design is going to be awesome? Okay. Okay, Dami has something to say. Dami, yes. You're the, yeah, I think you have Kenneth, uh, Kenneth is saying that the design is going to be awesome. I mean, the design. Oh, oh, awesome. okay, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, well, thank you. Thank so what you. I wanted to thank point out much. is that, what I wanted to point out is that, you know, you can even tell people that you are a, I've seen, I've seen people give value to a point where, you know, you, you can actually say that, look, I'm making something from this, but this is a gesture for the work that i'm doing and you know i've seen a lot of this type of emails that they come to my to my um my email and you know gladly if i need the products if i feel that the product actually is something that i need that time i don't really care if you are making money from it right you have been very very valuable to me and that is why i'm even opening your email or that's why i'm even learning from you so some people will tell you that oh this this thing you know, already making money from it so you can be upfront with it if you want to that's people love people that are upfront people trust because people you want people to trust you as much as possible and trust is the number one thing especially in this virtual world that we are in right people find it hard to trust each other and that's because you don't trust the person right you might not be able to you know work with, with that person Mm, that's, that's another one thank you very much dami for every time that is like when that relaxes it comes back he gives something again to hit your head with it and so you start thinking thank you dami god bless you all right so um um adiola okay said please next time bring people who are already who are making it already yes so that was my plan the people that are supposed to do testimonials today they've made money they've carried the money and that's why they are not here and i don't know why they will come and answer to me why they are not here yes a lot of people have been making money on the platform and i tell you people are doing like trisha that just left i don't know why she left okay you know she said she has a meeting for 2 30. she was supposed to be one of those who were supposed to do testimonials um trisha signed up just in june and she has made over five thousand naira in june so it means that trisha has actually brought like 10 people in june so people are making money from it so five five thousand without shouting too much mm? five thousand without um using strength and power to drag people she was supposed to go and tell us how she did it don't worry the next webinar whether they like it or not people that have collected money from this thing i will drag them here to come and tell you how they did it that was supposed to be one of the uh, one of our highlights okay um now don't worry i'll send it with um and kenneth the graphic design i'll be sending it first thing um um tomorrow morning with the email i'll be sending to you so you will get the graphic design hope you are signed up on the referral portal that's the first thing because the thing is i am giving those on the referral portal already so um, i have your email already so then i'll send it to you you'll get the graphic design every week a new graphic design comes up so so that people don't get bored your audience don't get bored with ah, you saw that last week what's it what's new thing are they saying again so i'll be sending it every week thank you guys you have been a wonderful audience my speaker dami thank you so much we learned a lot mm. okay is there a new referral portal or the previous one which one are you talking about is it the affiliate system or the referral portal the referral portal if it's the referral portal is that one that when you signed up you generated a code that code you could probably change it to whatever you like or you left it at um, it starts with W and some other letters like that. Yes, that is the referral code we are talking about. All right, so you can always reply to my email when I send it out. And that's why I do that every week. Send Reply to my email and I'll be more than available to answer all of your questions. We were running out of time and our time is up. Like I said before, it's just one hour and I don't want to stress anybody. So you see, this was beautiful. When I call again next time and say, we have webinar, I'm sure you want to drag many of your friends along to come to this exciting, informative and educating webinar. Thank you guys. Thank you, Dami. Thank you everybody for joining in. Uh, I, I wish to see your faces again. Yes, some people's uh, names and faces will stick with me in the next webinar when I see them. Thank you guys. It was wonderful having you. Bye for now.